Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh, lies on the Mekong. Not just a beautiful scene, the river provides transport and income for the city's one million population. Now another nearby stretch of water, polluted with the city's sewage, is offering unlikely economic opportunities for the three and a half thousand families living around its shore. Most people living on the lake are informal settlers who fled the city in the 1970s during the brutal reign of Pol Pot. They earn a living cultivating aquatic vegetables, in particular water spinach or morning glory as it's commonly known, a favorite in all Asian cities on the Mekong. The nutrients that feed this vibrant green harvest are not from artificial fertilizers, but from human waste present in the water. Phnom Penh is one of four Asian cities being studied by the Papusa project. The objective of the project basically is to understand um, aqu aquatic production systems around cities in, major, in, in, in Southeast Asia. For as long as Bong Ching Ek remains to be a sewage lake, and the supply of sewage from the city is unhindered, then morning glory production can thrive. The scale of Phnom Penh's morning glory production can be estimated using the Institute's satellite imagery. This is a main area of morning glory production. It's approximately 200 hectares. Surveys conducted by Papusa show average household income from morning glory is between 10 and 20 dollars a day. I'm involved in morning glory production every day from 7 in the morning until 4 in the evening. I have five children and I earn enough to support my family. While the rewards can sustain a family, harvesting the vegetable, rain or shine, has its drawbacks. The skin on my hands and feet gets irritated by the wastewater. I eat it both fresh and cooked, but it tastes best when fresh. I have never suffered from diarrhea or stomach problems, even when I eat it raw. In case they want to eat it in raw, they should uh, wash it and clean it properly. The most common problem is, you know, eczema, the dermatitis. Different worker got different problems, like uh, construction worker. They also suffer from allergic contact dermatitis, but just the different uh, substance, which is cause the problem. But Morning Glory is high in nutrients, and its taste and versatility make it popular. The customer know the soft of the Morning Glory, but um, they still buy it to cook with uh, noodle, put in the soup. Some customers use it for something like fermented sauce. The aquatic plant production is very uh, neutral benefit, nothing harm to the nature, to the lake, because this one helps to consume the phosphorus and nitrogen from the sewage system. People tend to react negatively to all things that has something to do with waste or wastewater. I think it has to be weighed with whatever opportunities available for a household. For them, maybe a skin problem is livable than having nothing to eat.